Amen. Praise God. Triumphing over powers of darkness. We'll be looking at supernatural triumph. We looked at triumphing by evangelism on Monday. I will still talk about it at the end of the meeting. God helping me. And um, yesterday, the vice president looked at triumphing over all those troubles of life, problems of lives. Today we are looking at the very root cause of battles. Battles do not originate from the problem. Problems are the aftermath of existing battles. Problems are the result of an ongoing battle. But battles start from powers. The origin of every trouble of life is in the spiritual realm. Many a times, what we see manifest started as a discussion, a decision, an imagination, a plan, a plot by forces of hell. So when they start to execute their plan, we begin to see problems. And then when you are trying to solve the problem, you are only cutting the tree. Where? On the head. Or in the middle. This root, as long as the roots are still there, that is why when one problem goes, before you know it, another one don't come. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter, chapter 15, verses Proverbs 56 of it. So, so let me just check where I want to start because of time. First Corinthians chapter 15. I read this on Monday too. From verse 54. From verse 55. Okay, let me start from 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, they shall be brought to pass. The saying that is written, death is swallowed up where? In victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? One of the, one of the most difficult, terrible human trouble is, is, is attack of death. There, if it's attack, nobody can solve problem of death with money. Praise the Lord. You can say, I know you have money, you can go to the hospital. If that is the case, nobody will be dying in the hospital. Nobody will be dying in the hospital. Some people say, Nigerian hospitals are not good. Let us go abroad. Now, for a day, they will carry your body come. Because death was something then. But here, the Bible is to understand death can lose its thing. So, oh, death, where is that thing? Oh, grave, where is your victory? Anyone that dug the, the grave for you this year, they will lie down there. It shall be their permanent home address. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, the thing of death is sin. And the, and the strength of, the law, of, the, of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. This is where I'm going. We give it us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, we have the capacity to have the victory over death and over the grief. I will have victory over death this year and beyond. Over the grave, over sicknesses, over infirmities, over accidents, over danger, over calamities, over satanic arrow. Name it. We will have the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God that give us the victory. Praise the Lord. Victory over what? What was number one? Battles of life. Like we saw yesterday. Number two, death is part of battles of life. And number three, Satan and his powers. Today we are looking at Satan. How to have victory over Satan and his powers. Many are times when we hear victory over powers, we are afraid. Ah, Jesus. Jesus, who can fight the witch? Who can fight? I don't get power. Oh. God, no, say I don't get power. Oh. May God help me. Oh. No, say I don't get power. Oh. May God help me. Oh. Yes, of course, we don't have power. But you are carrying a God. I say you are carrying a God that is bigger than the world. The God, the creator of the ends of the earth. The creator of that witch and the wizard. 
who has the capacity to say, which lie down and not wake and will not, will not wake up. Praise the Lord. Sometimes people say, ah, this battle don't tire me. If I, women especially, we too get, we easily get tired. So, mommy, I'm just tired of this battle, battle, fight, 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 fight. I'll be fighting, fighting, fighting battle, fighting battle, fighting. That one came and I, I fought it. The other one came. I fought. Thank God you are winning. Some are losing. Some are fighting the battle and they are losing. Some lose their life in the battle. But thank God you are not one of those people. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thanks be to God that gave us the victory. Brethren, life is about battle. Whether you like it or not. As long as the devil is in, in the world. No wonder in the book of uh, um, Revelation chapter, chapter 12. Can't pick the verse now. Bible says, whoa! Unto the habitants of the earth. Because the devil has come down with great wrath. Let me look for it. Praise the Lord. Revelation chapter. Somebody can get it for me. I'll be glad. Revelation chapter 12. Chapter 12. Verse 9. 12, 12. Okay, God bless you. All right. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heaven. Why are they rejoicing? Satan, don't come out here. They throw away. Them. <laughs> throw away them. Hey, go, you, go, you go throw away Satan out of your house. The, the angel came. He was, he was ready. He was, he was ready for war with anger in heaven. And Jeremiah took him and flung him, and he landed on the earth. <laughs> and ye that that dwell there, he said, rejoice. Ye, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell dwell in them. Woe to the habitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down with what unto you, having great wrath. Because he knows that he's, he has but a short time. But as long as the devil has not been put permanently locked up, the battle will continue. Battle will continue. But the Lord is a, Jesus is our victory. I say Jesus is our victory. It is ignorance for you to think that battles will end. After these three days, Father, I pray. We pray, Father. We command the battle to end. Is the one that you have seen that we are talking about? Now, those one we end. We other ones come. Is it a cause? It's life. It's life. Job in chapter fourteen, verse one, he said, "A man born of a woman, his his life is full of troubles." When Jacob got to Egypt and uh, uh, Pharaoh asked, how many of you well, all the days of my pilgrimage on earth has been full of troubles. These are not unbelievers. These... And I will show you statements in the Bible. Some of them from Jesus that told us we should be ready for warfare. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are statements in the word of God that gives us insight to the kind of warfare we are fighting. I will also tell you where we have advantage over the Old Testament saints as believers of the New Testament. That Revelation chapter 12, let me read 11 to 13. Revelation chapter 12 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony. And they love not their life unto the dead. Therefore rejoice. Ye heavens. You see we are, we are in the air. But we are not of the earth. Praise the Lord. So even though Satan is here fighting. But we have the victory. In the blood of Jesus. I said we have the victory. In the blood of Jesus. We have the victory. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So, why have we rejoicing? Which are rejoicing with them? Because even though we are on the earth, we are not on the earth. We are citizens of heaven. We are pilgrimage here on earth. Am I talking to somebody? We are not like people on the streets who do not know Jesus. We have the victory in Christ through the blood of Jesus. Amen? 
I've read verse 12. Let's go to 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the air, he persecuted who? <laughs> Do you know? Do you, can you see why we may have a lot of troubles? You will say, hey, it's a particular woman here. This is figurative. Amen. Praise the Lord. We brought forth the matcha. Do you, you know when this battle started? Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. After Adam and Eve had committed sin against God and all that and all that, and uh, God was wanted to cause a serpent. He said, the seed of the woman. Do you see why the, why the devil is fighting us? The seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. And when the seed of the woman refused to bruise the head of the serpent, what will, what will happen? The serpent will bite his heel. That will not be our portion. He can't bite our heels. Oh. I, can't, I can't hear that. Amen. He will not bite your heels in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone born of a woman is under the influence of this warfare. No human being is exempted. Whether they are aware or not, whether they are ready for it or not, whether you are prepared for any battle or not, the battle is ongoing. It's ongoing. And the earlier you realize and begin, I wake up to it, the better for you. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Let me just give you the scriptures. Uh, media so you can give me one by one. Ephesians 6, 10 to 12. Then Psalm 34 verse 19. Psalm 34 verse 19. Let's look at Luke chapter 10 verse 19. I think we can all quote that one. Say, behold, I give unto you what? Power. What do you do with power? To play? Ten, ten. To play ten, ten. Need power to play ten, ten. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When God says, I give you power, God is saying, preparing you for a warfare. Behold, I give unto you what? Power. To tread on who? And who? And over all the powers of the enemy. I thought they were dead. Powers of the enemy, they are no longer dead. Just pray and say amen. <laughs> when they come and terrorize you in the sleep, you go wake up. Nobody go tell you, make you do vigil. I gave you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over the paths of the enemy. He said, nothing shall by enemies, what? Hurt you. They will try to, but they will not be able to. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 6, quickly. This is a New Testament, not Old Testament. God is one that said, I give, I give unto you power. When he sent them out, go and preach the gospel. He said, go, heal the sick. Raise the dead. Deliver the oppressed. He knows our powers will contend. Say, I give unto you power. You will frustrate the counsel of the devil in your family. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6. Finally, bread, finally my brethren, be strong in the Lord. I beg what they take strength to do. Be strong in the Lord so you can pound the arm. <laughs> you can cook a bone of soup. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his mind. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his mind. Bible says the eyes of the Lord running through and fro upon the earth. Looking for who to show himself strong on the behalf. You'll be strong in the Lord. And the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor. I beg. Yeah, they wear armor. Go visit friends. Say, I want to go and visit my friend in the Korodu. I want to wear soldier armor. So... <laughs> you wear uniform, wear boots, wear uh, can you, I carry gun, I carry, I carry shield. I say, I they go visit my friend. Our mores are for war. They are for battles. Wake up. Tell your neighbor, my neighbor, wake up. Wake up. You are in the battlefront. But you are not alone. Jesus is with you. All what Christian soldiers marching us to war. Looking up to Jesus who has gone before. He has gone before us. You won't lose in the battle. You won't lose in the battle. Verse 12. Put on the armor of God that you'll be able to. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. It doesn't matter how he's coming. You'll be able to stand. For you wrestle not against flesh and blood. That one, oh, ha, he don't tell you. You are not fighting against ordinary people. You are not, yes, ordinary people can be possessed by six powers to fight you. Get me right. Witches and wizards are not dogs and cats and rats. Praise the Lord. 
There is a power that possesses a cat. Ordinary, they are ordinary cats now. Ordinary cats, they don't get anything. They are just normal. But they are easily used. That's why we all run from a cat. Not all cats on the street are witches and wizards. Just because, ah, witch don't come. Oh, it may be ordinary cat. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh. They can easily be used. It's the same way men are being used. As dim to, by powers of darkness to harass, to attack, to fight us. But it says it's not the person that is actually the, the problem. There is a power. He wrestles not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. We are in high places. We will cast them down. I said we will cast them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 30, 34 verse 9, 19 says, Psalm 34 verse 19, I said, not verse 5, 19, 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Uh -uh, no. Many are the afflictions of the sinners. Is that not what he said? Many are the afflictions of the unbelievers. He said, when you become born again, no more battle. Jesus Christ has won the battle for you. Just go and sleep. Many Christians have died in the battle because of ignorance. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But he said, bet. Everybody say, bet. I can't hear you. The Lord delivered her. Let me use her because today we are women. Her. Out of how many of them? If you are more than conqueror, shout hallelujah. If you are triumphant, shout hallelujah. Amen. These are indications and many more. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 1. When that goes to battle, when that, I think I used it on Monday night, VG. That was the scripture I used all through Monday night, VG. Deuteronomy chapter 1, chapter 20, from verse 1 to 4. When that goes to battle against their enemies, and you see a people more than you, and weapons of warfare more than you, that is chariots and horses more than you, he said, fear not. For it is the Lord thy God that God, he didn't say if you go to a battle, if means occasionally, it may, it may, it may not. But when he says when, it means he said uh, it's normal. <laughs> it's normal. When that goes to battle, was it really going to battle then or not? Let us go to battle. For the Lord, thy, your God, is he that goes with you. To fight against your enemies. To do what? To save you. To save you. These are scriptures that gives us a backing. That we are not alone in the battles we fight. The difference between you and the unbeliever. Is why you will not die in the battle. Why you will have victory in the battle. It's not because the battle will not come. It is because the Lord is going with you. Into the battle. To do what? To fight for you, and then you will do what? You will hold your peace. That will, that's what's going to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at look at look at this scenario in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter twenty. They were to go to battle with uh, Ammon, Marcia, and Moab, and then God they gathered together, they fasted, they prayed, they invite, they involved God in the warfare. That's what we are doing here. And the Lord spoke and said, "This battle is not your battle." It's my battle. Did he say carry your load and go home? I answer me now. He says, set yourself in array. Set the battle in array. Arrange yourself. Ready for warfare. Arrange yourself. Enemy will set themselves over there. You will set yourself over here. He didn't say carry your bag and go home. I will finish them. He says, set yourself in array. There's a part you need to play. But he said, don't lift a weapon. They now say, okay, we are going to say, say like, what will we be doing? Somebody suggested, why not let us be praising God? God is good. He has done us well, oh my soul. Rise up. Why they were praising God? Heaven went against the adversary and scattered them and destroyed them. But the itching of them were still physically present in the battlefield. Don't be deceived, brethren. There are warfare, but victory is our portion. Because we are not fighting by power nor by mind, but by the Spirit of God, we shall have the victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall have the victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. I'm giving you scriptures to attest to the fact that we have a promised victory. The battle doesn't matter how fierce it is. We have the promise of victory. But that is not to say we should go and sleep. We have the promise of victory. Colossians chapter 2, 14 and 15. It says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that, that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Go ahead. And having spoiled principalities and power, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Who did that? Jesus. Blotting out every hierarchy. So if you now you know what God has said concerning you. I shall not be barren. Number one, for example. And then, the devil comes and says, you will never hear the cry of a child. What do you do? Remember that scripture. That becomes your weapon. Am I talking to somebody? Jesus has blotted out every handwriting of ordinance that was written against me, which was contrary to me. He has taken it out of the way. Therefore, he spoiled principalities and power. He made sure of them openly. A devil, you, you satanic voice, be silent. I will have children. What are you doing? Warfare. Warfare. Jesus conquered Satan by it is written. It is written. Am I talking to somebody? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is telling you, this is what I have done. In case Satan comes to want to enact his own, his, no, his own imagination, his own plan and plot against you, use my word and fight him back and collect your victory. And I see the baron getting pregnant. I will never give up on you. Never. As long as the Bible said, that no shall be barren in the land. I will preach it. I will pray it until you all have your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you getting my point? I know a lot of things are happening against you that are contrary to what God has said about you. And you are helpless. Hey, what will I do? It's happening like that. I don't pray, pray. I don't. Never. Tired. Never. Rise up. Look for another scripture that is speaking against. That thing that devil wants to do in your life. And then engage that scripture. Engage it. And you cannot engage the word of God. You cannot engage the word of God in battle and lose that battle. It's a matter of time. Keep on. The problem we have is that we give up on God. We give up on the battle. That will not be a portion from today henceforth. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 1, 17 to 19. Quickly, Jeremiah, today's scripture. Ha, ah, time is already running. So there's scripture, 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 scripture. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 1 from verse 17. Are you ready to go? Are we ready? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are we tired? Are we hungry? <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Amen. A few minutes will be done. Amen. Jeremiah 1, 17 to 19. Look at this. Please, these are scriptures that are powerful scriptures. With this, if, you, if you equip yourself with this scripture this year, you will never know failure. You will never know defeat. The ah, amen is too small. Thou, therefore, guide up thy loins. Come on. When somebody says, oh yeah, get ready, get ready. Is it for to go and play? No, it's for something serious. Guide up your lines. Arise and speak unto them. You will speak the word of God to barrenness until he bow. Unto fruitlessness until he bow. Unto poverty until he bow. Speak to them. All oh, that I command thee. You will find it in the world. Be not dismayed at their faces. Don't look at the situation. Lest I confound thee before, before them. God said, I will, I will work against you. I will leave you to them. Let them handle you. That will not happen. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Look at verse, verse 18. For behold, for behold, I have made thee this day. What? Please talk now. I have made you a, a, a city that is war round. A defense, a defense city. An iron pillar. A brazen wall. Against the land. Against the king of Judah. Against the prince thereof, against the princes thereof, and against the people of the land. Powers in the land that want to rise up against you, whether they are the nobles, whether they are the kings, whether they are the princes, God has 
fortified us before them. We are fortified. I said we are fortified. Have this has made you a defense city, a brazen wall, an iron pillar. Have you walked the level called iron pillar to your long? I won it. I won it. It will. The Bible says, if he falls on them, he will grind them to powder. If they fall on, he will break in pieces. This year, your enemy will break in pieces. They shall be grinded to powder. Look at verse nineteen. Very, very sweet. He said they shall fight against thee. He didn't say when they see you, they will go and sleep. Did he say that? He said they shall fight against thee. But, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee. Say the Lord to do what? To deliver you. You won't lose battle this year. Please, please get up. Get up. Talk to at least five people. Say you won't lose battle this year. You won't lose battle this year. Five people. Let them hear it from your mouth. You will not lose battle this year. Just five people. Just five of them. You will not lose battle this year. You will not lose battle this year, mommy. You will not lose battle this year. You will not lose any battle this year. You won't lose any battle this year. Hallelujah. Amen. If we have conquerors in the house, shout hallelujah. Ah. Romans chapter 8 verse 7 We are more than a conqueror Through him that loves us We are more than victorious We are more than triumphant Through God that loves us He said I will be with you I will be in the battle with you He didn't send us You know what we say Before I used to hear a Roman Isha fire tea. Praise the Lord Praise Roman Isha fire tea Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Oh my God. Your boss are wonderful people. I love your worship. I love your about worship. Glory to Jesus. Oh no, money to Bomolo. Oh to Shadow Modebe. Oh to Jesha for that. Hey! Hallelujah! Oh no, he sent you a message. He followed you, God here. He delivered the message. God here before you. Delivered the message for you and gave you the victory. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Glory. That's the God we serve. Why are we afraid? There's nothing to fear. No wonder 366 fear not in the Bible. Every day he's saying the same thing. Fear not. There is no day fear is permitted in our lives. People fell in the battle because of fear. Those that fell, they fell because of what? Fear. People whose journey were prolonged were prolonged because of fear. A journey of 40 days became a journey of 40 years because of fear. I banish fear in our life this year in the name of Jesus. After all, we are what? We are audacious women. Glory to Jesus. Quickly, let's round up on this. Take note. We are well equipped for this battle. God does not send you to a battle he has not prepared you for. You are well equipped. Oh. What it takes to be victorious is already packaged inside of you and I. Am I talking to somebody? It's already packaged inside you and I. If we are not having victory, go and sit down and find yourself. Find out why. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 6. Tell us all the packaging. Second Corinthians chapter 3. Chapter 10, sorry. Three to six. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. He said the weapons of our warfare, they are not what? Kana. So we have weapons. Yes. But they are mighty through God to pull it down strong goals. Casting down imaginations. And every height that is not itself about the knowledge of God. And bring it to captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. And having the readiness to avenge every disobedience when your own obedience is what? Complete. Simple. He has packaged us. He has equipped us. There are weapons of our welfare. They are not ordinary. Use them. He has packaged us with his divine presence. Number two. Divine presence. Mark chapter 16 verse 20 says, he, Jesus went with them, walking with them with signs following. As they went about going, doing good, as they went about preaching the gospel and the 
they, 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 will, they will cast out devils, they will heal the sick, they will take off serpents, they shall not be hurt. And the Bible says, and the Lord went with them. His presence is assured. It's an assurance of our of, 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 uh, divine packaging that we are not alone. And the Bible says he was going, walking with them with signs following. Mark chapter 28 verse 20, he said, Lo, I am with you, even to the end of the age. There is nowhere the battle is coming from. The Lord cannot get there. Nowhere. Lo, I am with you to the end of the age. So his divine presence is part, is part of the equipment that we have. Number three, keys of the kingdom. Power to bind and to lose. We have it. Whatsoever you bind on earth, I will bind in heaven. Whatever you lose on it, I will lose in heaven. Power to bind and lose. It's in our hands. It's in our hands. Why will, will you lose battle? Why will you lose? When you can bind, you can lose. Mark, I said Matthew 16, 18 to 19. Praise the Lord. Keys of the kingdom. Number four, which is the last one. Jesus said, it is finished. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? You can find it in John chapter 19 verse 30. He said it is finished. He has fought the battle. He has won it for us. He has given us the power. You, I have used it. This is what I use. This is how I got my victory. This is how I got the victory for you, for the whole world. Now, when it comes to you personally, apply the same weapon. He disgraced the devil. Made the push of, of him. Triumphed over him. And when he was going, he said, okay, take the power. In case... They will come knocking. What do you do? Use this power against him. Then we are saying we are tired. We cannot. We are tired. This year by force by fire you will get the victory. Yeah. I say you will have the victory. Yeah. Jesus proclaimed it is finished. There is nothing you can't handle anymore. I have dealt with the foundation. I have destroyed the foundation. Jesus was passing by and he saw a fig tree and he caused the fig tree. And it looked as if the fig tree was still alive. And they went. By the time they came back the following day, it was with that. What happened? Power went forth. That same power is in your mouth. Whatever you cause, he said, I will cause it. Whatever you bind, I will bind it. Whatever you lose, I will lose it. What you bless, I will bless it. Am I talking to somebody? We have the same power. We have the same authority. All we need to do is exercise. Shall we rise to our feet quickly? Let's rise to our feet. Let's rise to our feet quickly. It's to exercise that power. Exercise that power. Rise to your feet, everybody. Let's rise to our feet. We don't have more time. Begin to blast on. Begin to blast on. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Begin to blast on. Begin to connect. Connect in the spirit. Connect in the spirit. If you write, write the good morning Jesus of this morning that we just started, it's a, two, it's a, series, a, a series of two. You will discover it's, it's, it's actually uh, uh, supporting this teaching. Go back and do that reading of Jesus, this Jesus of this morning. Jesus, uh, this, uh, good morning Jesus devotional. Say the same thing. Lift up your voice, begin to blast her, blast her. That's one of the ways you activate the power of God in you. That power is not meant to sleep. It's not meant to be dormant. That power is meant to be activated. Begin to blast her. Begin to blast her. Masaka Yendelebo. Let the powers pursue you. Know that you have gotten the victory. Let them know you have gotten the victory. Let them know you understand better now. Let them know you are no longer afraid. Let them know you are no longer afraid. Thank you, Jehovah El Shaddai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to hold yourself in twos. Let's join force together right now. Say, Father. Father. Are you still ready? Say, Father. Father. That have written negativity against me and my family. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I blood them out right now. Concerning me and my sister I'm holding. Open your mouth and pray. Masaka yendele baba baba, oka yendele baba baba. Two by two, two by two. Masaka yaga de 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 de. I blow them out. Every negativity, every negativity written against me, against me, against my children, against my husband, against my household. I blow them out. I blow them out by the blood, by the blood. By the blood, by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, 
Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers haunting my life. It is written, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Therefore, carry your debt to the next place. To the next place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and declare it. Declare it. It is the word that will give you the victory. It's the word. The word has assured us. The word has assured us. Power is haunting my husband. Power is haunting my children's lives. Power is haunting my life. I say it is written. I shall not die. But live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. I decree, I am my sister, I am my, our family. We shall not die, we shall not die, but we shall live to declare the words of the Lord in the land of the living. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers against the work of my hands. It is written, I shall serve the Lord my God, and he will bless my bread and my water. Therefore, every power warring against my business, against my job, die by fire. Oh, yeah, 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 it is written. It is written. Okay, Whatsoever I lay my hands upon shall prosper. It is written. Okay, in Jesus' name we pray. Two minutes I will take over the hand. Start anointing. Praise the Lord. They are going to cry to God. Armies of hell. Armies of wickedness. That have gang up against my family. It is written. He has made me a defense city. An iron pillar. A brazen wall. Therefore, you cannot fight me. I pull you down. I destroy you all. I destroy you all. Oh, put your mouth up, pray. Declare this year, we shall walk upon a high place. 
blessings. This year, we shall live in good health. We shall enjoy affluence. We shall enjoy wealth, blessings, breakthroughs, favor, good health. Begin to name everything you want. As you walk up and down, begin to name it. Begin to name it. I will not know sickness. I will not sleep in the hospital this year. No admission from you or any member of my family. I will not labor for sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. So this year shall be the best year I've ever spent on earth. It shall be the best year. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will break through. I will succeed. I will progress. I will achieve greatness. This year, I will try out by the supernatural power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. A quick word God is going to do right now. I just quickly go around. Quickly, I just touch your head. Praise the Lord. I have told God, swift turn this auditorium. I want sickness out of women of vision. I mean it. I mean it. I've told God that. He said I will triumph, isn't it? Uh -huh. I must triumph over sickness. Uh, I mean, I say, oh, if you are sick here, hundred people, no, no, no more. A time will come, say, if you are sick, you don't say nobody. If they say anybody, say, oh no, today is our first time. Is it possible? It's not my hand, it's the hand of God that is doing it. I will just touch you, anoint you, you for the manifestation. Go and triumph. That's all I will tell you. Go and triumph. Go and triumph. In every area, you will see victory happening. Do you believe it? Oh yeah, can I have choir? Please, we need it. Just one more time. Oh Lord. Just one more time. Oh Lord. I need your touch, oh Lord. Touch us one more time.
light, light. Let it be light, light. Let it be light. Let it be light. Let it be light. Let it be light.
to manifest your victory. Begin to blast on, begin to blast on. We are sending the anointing on We are closing right now. We are closing right now. Masakala. Masakaya Baba. Come, come, come back. Meet your people. Masakaya The anointing heals. The anointing delivers. The anointing breaks yokes. The anointing sets free. Masaka yanda la baba, lift up your hands as you blast that tongue. Masaka yanda la baba, reka kaka kaba shanta la baba. The anointing will go beyond your imagination. Masaka yanda la baba, reka seke de 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 de. Ba reka kala kaseke te te te. Masaka la kache de 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 de. Masaka la kata 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 kata. Le kashanda la baba. Masaka la baba 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 baba. Re kaka kaka kaka. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I just saw a power from under the rock. Under the rock, flexing itself. Masaka la baba se kata. Father in the name of Jesus I stand upon this altar And I decree and declare Every power from the water Under the rock Every power from the depth of the ocean Every power from the graveyard Every power from the trees Every power from the earth Every power from the land, every power from junctions, altars, every power from shrines and covers, every power from the heavens, first heaven, second heaven, that want to flex their muscles against you, I command them to enter the ground. Enter the ground. Enter the ground and be swallowed up by the earth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Powers manifesting against you in dreams. Powers that are manifesting. Powers from your foundation. Powers from your father's house, your mother's house. From your village, from your stream. Powers from where you live. Powers from where you sell, where you work, where you do business. I command that that want to rise against you. I say, enter the ground. I say, enter the ground. I say, enter the ground. In the name of Jesus. This year we have received power to tread upon serpents and upon all powers of darkness. Upon Scorpius, upon witches and wizards, upon them male spirit, demons of the water, as for this spirit, powers from hell, powers of the grave, angel of death, we trample you under feet. We trample you under feet. And we decree and declare by the word of the law, this year you will continue to trample them under feet. Power that will be confronting the work of your hand. Today they enter the ground. Power that will be confronting your marriage. Today they enter the ground. Power that will be confronting the business. Today they enter the ground. Power that is working against you to make sure you are not promoted. You are not lifted. You do not break through. I said they enter the ground. Lift up your hands everybody. Receive the power. Masaka yeke telebo yaka dada. Marika tala baba baba baba. Eka seka cha 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 cha. I release the fire of God upon you right now. I release the power of God upon you right now. I release upon you right now. As you go, you become an instrument of destruction. 
to all the kingdom of darkness. Receive the power. 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 You will run and not be and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus Christ. From this day, express breakthrough. Easy breakthrough. Speedy breakthroughs. We begin to manifest in your life. The year has just begun. I decree the beginning of your miracles, your signs and your wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Power that you left behind at home. And they say, Go and come back. You come and meet us here. By the time you get back, you will not meet your people. Won't be one that. They won't, you won't meet them at all. I command them right now while we're here. Disappear in the name of Jesus. Disappear in the name of Jesus. I just heard. I speak from heaven. I silence your voice. That's not the heaven of God. It's kicking from the sky. I silence your voice forever. I pull you down. Crash in the name of Jesus. Crash in the name of Jesus. Crash in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Today is the beginning of beginnings for you. Whether you believe it or not, just take it from me. Today is the beginning of beginning for somebody here. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. Let your amen be strong. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Father, sanctify this oil. All the photographs, everybody daring. Even those in our phone, those in our heart. Oh God, we reach out unto them. The same power of preservation, protection, that shield men will shield them. Power that lift men will lift up this year. We shall walk upon our high places. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. Last year, it was the audacious woman. We learned about your audacious. This is the year we are going to manifest it. Testimony we have never had in Women of Vision. Of evil children raising the dead, we hear it here. Yes. The newcomers, they say, I, well, I just came for, for two times, and then now I just, I just believe the word of God. I went to, and I went to, and I raised the dead. It will happen here, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. I command fear to die. Yes. Fear die. Yes. Fear cease. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. with boldness we face this year. Yes. We take delivery of all that which is ours. We lay hold on them. Is our portion. In the name of Jesus. As you use this oil to work for you, anywhere you call upon the name of the Lord, you will hear him answer. In the name of Jesus. Shall be well with you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.